The matter is urgent, Lady Josephine. I am well aware of that, revered mother. We will need them to return to Valroyo as soon as possible. There are ceremonies, ordinations. Maker's mercy. That's quite impossible at the moment. However, I will see to this matter as soon as possible. My Lord Inquisitor. What's going on? Please, may I have a word with you? How may I assist you, revered mother? With the political turmoil put to rest, our minds turn to a single question. The next divine. Oh. Okay. We cannot answer it without the left and right hands of divine Justinia the Fifth. I have already told you, revered mother. Lady Leliana and Sikar Cassandra cannot be spared from their duties. But surely with the support of the Empire, the Inquisition will not be harmed by the loss of just two souls. What the hell? Why do you need them? Why do you need Liliana and Cassandra? They were Her Holiness's most trusted advisors. They represent her legacy, her hopes for peace in Fadas. They could rally the Grand Clerics to follow as no candidate from the clergy has been able to. What are you saying? I don't understand. What is it you're asking of them? We need them to serve as candidates for the role of Divine. Everyone with the political support to succeed Justinia perished alongside her. Hmm. Those who remain are unable to gather the majority of votes from the conclave of Grand Clerics. They have been deadlocked for too long. Lady Liliana and Seeker Cassandra were Justinia's most trusted friends and advisors. Our late divine is still held in high esteem. To honor her, the Grand Clerics might support one of them as successor. Okay, and how long would they be gone? How long does the Chantry need them? Several months, at least. What the? F if one of them is crowned divine, she would not be returning to the Inquisition. Huh. I'd have to let them decide. Those are crucial people. These aren't just any two people. They are key members of the Inquisition. Duh. For the sake of Thedas. We must ask you to make this sacrifice. Seriously. This will have to be settled later. The Inquisitor has only just returned and has important business to attend to. You must excuse us, revered mother. Don't let them detract from your victory at Alam Shiral. We've beaten his wardens and stopped his intrigues. Soon, Corypheus will have no place to hide. Colin is hoping to press our advantage. We'll plan our next attack when you're ready. Mm hmm Okay. Cool. Well, I guess it's time. Okay. Hold on a second before we do anything. Uh, let me just do this first. I guess it's time to talk to everybody else, right? Before uh, before moving forward. And also, it's time to sell everything that we acquired here because we won't need everything. I will also be selling the formula tires because I don't care about them. Okay, cool. But first, what do we have here? Controlled space. Help. There's something in here or here. Going well, I hope. What's new? What's been going on? That strange boy came in with an armful of chickens. You're you're looking after him, right? <laughs> Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. 
we're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Mm -hmm. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> okay. Take care. Bye bye. Um, I think there's a requisition or something, probably. I'm gonna have to talk to Cassandra as well. But I'll talk to everybody in a second. What's up, man? Oh, my maker. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shirel. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. Okay, I'm again. There are problems coming out of Halam Shirel? There are always problems from Halam Shirel. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I could what do you suggest mean? how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. Okay. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. <laughs> Finally. As you were. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. Right. Negotiate a deal for weapon plans operation available. We all did. Cool. So, let's uh, save it. And then, Cassandra. Will you not consider it, Lady Cassandra? Oh, man. The clerics are still sequestered. If no one steps forward, they will debate until... And you think I could make them agree? I've heard enough for one day, Mother Giselle. Talk to her, your worship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is she bothering you? Is there a problem? It seems like she's bothering you. Mother Giselle is kind, and she means well. So, yes, she was. <laughs> I assume you've heard that Leliana and I are both candidates to be the next divine. I did. Because of what happened at Halam Shiral, of course, the Empire favors you. Thus, everyone close to you. So now the Chantry bandies our names about without even asking us first. How can you and Liliana be candidates? You're not even priests. It's not without precedent. Amara III was sister to the Emperor, and Galatea a commoner. Liliana and I were, at least, part of the Chantry hierarchy. It would be accepted. I think I would prefer Liliana, though, to be the next divine. <laughs> why, am I, why am I not a candidate? <laughs> They'll pick non-priests. Why am I not a candidate? Because you're a man, first and foremost. Oh shit, yes, I forgot. If they name True. you a candidate, they may as well join the Tevinta Imperium. Right. Truly, though, I imagine it's because they're frightened of you. A weight such as yours would break the Sunburst throne and tear the Chantry to pieces. I just don't know why they believe Liliana or I would be any better. I think... I think Liliana would be better than you, so... Just refuse. If you don't want it, then tell them so. <clears throat> I don't think she liked that. Surely it was never meant to be like this. The Chantry, the Circle of Magi, the Templars. This cannot be what they intended when it all began. The Chantry should provide faith, hope. Instead, it cannot veer from its course, even in the face of certain death. I'm surprised to hear you, of all people, say that. <laughs> oh? Am I not the same woman who declared the Inquisition against the Chantry's wishes? In all my years as a Seeker, I did what I was told. My faith demanded it. But now my faith demands something else. That I see with better eyes. If you're concerned, then make it better. Did you know Varric is Andrastian? 
Huh? Oh, he blasphemes with every second breath, but deep down he believes. His heart is virtuous. But he would never step foot in a chantry. It should be the first place to which the virtuous turn. It needs to change. Perhaps I must be the one to change it. Whoa, okay. Liliana's great. You may not get your way. Lots of things factor into the result. Yeah, but I... Maybe I can persuade Cassandra not to go for it. <laughs> I don't know. You're not the only candidate. What about Liliana? Liliana says she wishes to follow Justinia's legacy. But she and I remember a different person. Justinia knew her fellow clerics and the people would only accept so much change. Liliana would cast it all aside and start over, I think. And that would be chaos for us all. Okay, what would you change? What would you change about the Chantry? The Circle of Magi has its place, but it needs reform. Let the mages govern themselves with our help. Let the Templars stand not as the jailers of mages, but as protectors of the innocent. We must be vigilant, but we must also be compassionate to all peoples of Thedas, human or no. Hmm. That is what I would change. Okay. Even Vivienne can be the divine. Yeah, true, because she does want that, even though she's not a candidate. True. Actually, Cassandra makes a very good point here. I kind of like the way she thinks, honestly. I like your determination. Maybe the Chantry should end a new crusade for you. I don't think... I'm not going to go for the I like your determination. I'm going to go with a new crusade for you. So this is your new crusade? I've agreed to nothing yet. And if the Chantry calls on you? Then I will do whatever I can, for as long as I can. I suppose I should not be so concerned. The clerics speak my name for now, nothing more. Mm -hmm. For now, restoring order and stopping Corypheus remain our priority. True. That's true, Cassandra. Don't forget that. Okay, so let's go talk to these guys here then. Wanted to see me? <laughs> Divine is celibate. Bye bye, romance. <laughs> okay. If you've got a minute, yes. Wanted some help dealing with this. The bull's charges. What's left of them, anyway? Oh, shit. Krem, Rocky, Dalish, all of them. Dead for the Iron Bull. A man who never really existed. Oh, shit. Should I start calling you Hisrad? Nah, it just confuse everyone. Besides, you're mingling the pronunciation. But I think I'm done leading mercenaries into battle. Wow, okay. You've lived two lives for too long. This is cleaner. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. I mean, don't get me wrong. I still like Orlesian food. But I've been away from the Cune for too many years. This was a good reminder of who I really am. Now I can serve you and the Inquisition honestly. Sorry, guys. I don't know any prayers from the Chantry. Or whatever Rocky and Dalish believed in. <laughs> Atash varin kata. Asi tale. Nice. He just wanted closure. Chargers gave their lives for the Inquisition and for me. They will be remembered as heroes. For every bloody battlefield, we'll gladly raise a cup. No matter what tomorrow holds. Thanks, boss. Didn't want to do this alone. It's fine, man. Nice. Okay, cool. Right. The, this is Colin? Alright, let's talk to Colin as well. Hello. I'd be perfectly happy never again setting foot in the Winter Palace. <laughs> I know, right? The gossip and backstabbing, I know what the game entails. But the indifference to it all. Yeah, I know what you mean. I didn't care for it myself. I shouldn't be surprised. 
Chantry can be the same. Their politics are less extravagant, but just as heated. The Empress rules a country. The Divine influences half a continent. Is there anything I should know? Only that I'm never playing cards again. I still can't find my... It doesn't matter. I don't know how Varric talked me into that. <clears throat> May I ask you something? Of course. You've mentioned siblings with everything that's happening. Do you know if they're all right? I've received word from my eldest sister. She was always good at tracking me down. South Reach has experienced the same chaos as everywhere else. My family is fine. Pray they remain so. Your sister tracked you down? You didn't know where you were? I let her know I was in Haven. She assumed I survived. Mm -hmm. It's not the first time. I may have neglected to tell her when I was transferred to Kirkwall. Why? I wasn't in a good state. I wanted only to leave. I received an angry letter about my disappearance two years later. For all her reprimands, it was a relief to hear from someone who knew me before the blight. Mm-hmm. Okay. You still regret the man you became after leaving Ferelden? After the Ferelden Circle, I thought all mages were like the ones there. Knight Commander Meredith's methods were harsh, but they kept people safe. You've said Meredith was unstable. She was my Knight Commander. I had no reason to distrust her. She wasn't wrong about the blood mages in Kirkwall. Meredith encouraged my anger towards the mages. There was only so far I would go, and she knew that too. I was her second in command. She kept decisions from me, those I would question. I believed she was serving the city. I never thought to question her, not until it was too late. Who's this? <laughs> Over here. And this. What the hell? You can't control everything. You stood up to her in the end. If I had would I be like her now? I wanted mages locked away as much as she did. I trusted they were treated reasonably well, but I should have done more. I should have looked into it. It's not yet enough. The Inquisition is my chance to atone. What's going on here? I will see it through. Okay. The Inquisition won't last forever. What will you do when this is over? To be honest, I hadn't given it much thought until recently. I'm not used to having so many... Possibilities. Possibilities. Are you against Templars now? Do you think Templars should cease to exist? No. I may have chosen. She's dancing. Life, yeah, definitely. I respect those who remain. Magic ungoverned could tear the world apart. It's doing so now. Templars are trained and able to confront such dangers. What would you suggest? Some call the Circle a prison that can only breed resentment. Perhaps opportunities to work outside the Circle. A mixed military service or healers clinics with Templar support. And there must be a safer way for Templars to leave. Templars can lose their memories to Lyrium. Some call it a gift to forget the failed harrowings, the demons. Some atrocities haunt me still. But to lose what good I can recall, I nearly lost my mind once. It is no gift. The circles may have faltered. But they were not without merit. That system should be restored, not abandoned. The Circle may bring peace for a time, if only because people crave stability. But how long would it last? Okay. That's all I wanted to know. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Black wall. Check this out. Uh, Lizette? Inquisitor. Yes. Okay. Blackwall, my friend. I think you have a quest for me, by the looks of it. Hello? Want a drink? I've a hankering for company.
What's going on? When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day, they found a dog. A wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. What? Do you know what I did? Not the fireside tale I was expecting, Blackwall. Just listen. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. Okay. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs, the neck straining and twisting. And I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. Wow, okay. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. When we first met, you were saving peasants from demons and outlaws. You're not a man who shuts his eyes. A little insane, maybe. <laughs> of course, you'd make light of it. You make saving the world look easy. The rest of us can only dream of matching what you've done. What are you talking about? Don't you about? see? It's not just about what happened back then. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. What is this really about? Hold on a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. Hold on a second. I think there's more to this story than he lets on. Let me just go back to him because... What the hell? Might be something here. Better take a closer look. A message from Blackwall. Inquisitor, you've been a friend and an inspiration. You've given me the wisdom to know right from wrong and, more importantly, the courage to uphold the former. It's been an honor to serve you. Are you shitting me? The spy master has confirmed it. Blackwall is gone. What? Go on. Liliana knows where he is, doesn't she? She knows everything. She doesn't know everything, yet. Sister Liliana had us search the Warden's quarters. Not much to find, except this. It was missing from last week's reports. I don't know what Blackwall's interest in this particular matter is, but it could be a good place to start. A crumpled report, a crumpled sheet of paper, it looks like it was removed from a, a recent report to Sister Liliana. Lieutenant Cyril Mornay, one of the soldiers responsible for the Calier massacre of 937, was captured in Lied. Uh, like the others who were arrested for their involvement, Mornay insists that he did not know who he was assassinating and that he was just following the orders of his captain. This captain, Thom Rayner, is still at large. Mornay is to be executed within the week in Val Royo. Attend Mornay's execution. Right. Okay. Okay. You have to admit it looks bad. We'll go there. Okay, so I want to talk to Vivian as well. And to Varric. OC Monkey kills! Inquisitor. I need to have a few words with my publisher. The first one will be you, and the second one... Whoops. Third. They've claimed for years my crime serials don't sell in Orlais. So why is the Council of Heralds asking for autographs? Okay. 
Sorry, distracted. Anyway, you need something? Uh, I actually don't. Apparently, never mind. Oh, monkey kills. Oh, well, that fat raid delay. Okay. Uh, welcome to the stream, I guess. Um. <laughs> Hold on, where, where the hell can I find... Uh, no, not Mornay Execution just yet. I need to talk to... I need to talk to Vivienne. Ah, uh, she's here. Boom. There we go. There she is. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. Oh, really? There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The mm -hmm. heart of a snowy wyvern. Okay. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. Oh, thank you very much, uh, Monkey Kills. It doesn't want to play nice? Well, it's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Might be Twitch. Twitch doesn't want to play nice today, probably. But uh, thank you for the thought, I guess. <laughs> and welcome to the stream. Um, if I may ask, what uh, what were you streaming? Were you streaming Dragon Age as well? or? Okay, hold on a second, Vivienne. We'll find out. Uh, tell me about... Uh, what is this formula first? I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivienne. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. Really? And you won't tell me? You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, <laughs> but won't tell me what it's for? My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would do no less for you, after all. And what if I don't help you, Vivienne? I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. Of course you do. I uh, haven't had a chance to play uh, Dragon Age English or any of the Dragon Ages yet. Had some World of Warships and and uh, f and off with some uh, Battlefield 1. Nice, nice. Well, if you're into like RPGs, um, yeah, Dragon Age is very good. Uh, all the all the games, I mean, uh, the, the entire trilogy from a story perspective is very good. It's my first time playing Dragon Age Inquisition as well. Um, yeah, so... Okay, Vivienne. Tell me about this wyvern. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. Well, Vivienne, I will help you, even though you don't want to tell me why. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. <laughs> she slightly approves. I shall give the location wow. of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Any game with a healthy story is always a good game in my books. Oh, yeah. Dragon Age is definitely a, a game with a very healthy story. Um... Ooh, Vivienne's alchemy notes. A suitable replacement for the primatus root must be derived as the plant went extinct during the second blight. Dried red moss cut from a wandering hill was shown similar restorative effects. Oh, an emulsion of silverite and elf fruit extract can counteract the fatal toxicity of red moss. Okay. Uh, the solution must be heated for exactly 75 minutes with magical flame mundane fires, regardless of fuel type. 
have been found to burn at too low a temperature. The heart of a snowy weaver must be added at the last possible moment. The compound becomes unstable when exposed to light. Even if stored in perfect darkness, it is only viable for three days. It begins to decay grade in potency in a matter of hours and experimentation has shown that the age regression effect decreases steadily over time from the moment it is synthesized by the second day the results are almost too subtle to detect and by the third it is entirely useless I what make heads or tails of this age regression what is she doing what is this potion for well exactly what is this potion for uh check the name of the quest Bring me the heart of Snow White. Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Vivienne. Damn. Bring me the heart of Snow White. She can't be that bad, right? She can't be like the... What's her name? The... Big bad mother. Can she? Uh, what the heck is Liliana? Le Liliana? Why isn't Liliana here? This note, we've read this note before. Note found on Sky Sadler, Baron Plucky. No, we've read this note before. Oh, there she is. Hello. So it's true. Some look to Cassandra or even me as Justinia's successor. Yes, it is. I never thought the idea would gain momentum. Of course, with the other candidates out of the picture. But what do you want? You're their last resort. No, I won't say that. The divine seems useless. No, okay, I'll go with what do you want. Is becoming divine something you really want? When Justinia was alive, I would have laughed at anyone who even suggested that I could be her successor. Things have changed. Still, I don't know. Restoring the Chantry will be like trying to steer a sinking vessel through a storm. I will help if I can. You could abandon ship or let the Chantry sink. No, okay, come on, I'll help if I can. Whoever becomes divine will have my support if she requires it. And I'm sure whoever becomes divine will absolutely require the Inquisition's backing. The Chantry is faltering, but it still has influence over the people. Mm -hmm. Who tells the people what's right? Who do they look to in times of peril? The A divine with enough support can change the Chantry. And with it, Thedas. But this is a discussion for later. If Corypheus wins, finding a new divine will be the least of our problems. True. True. I'm thinking that Liliana, because she has all the uh, all the information from her like spy life, yeah, she would make a good divine because she would know most of the secrets and everything. Right. Uh, let's jump down to our friend Solus. Hello. There are spirits hovering by the veil to observe the thrones of powerful nations, the machinations, betrayals. After our time in Halam Shirao, I understand why. I had forgotten how I missed court intrigue. You've seen this before. You miss court intrigue? When were you at court? Oh, well, never directly, of course. An elven apostate is rarely invited to speak with empresses and kings. But from the fade, I have watched dynasties form and empires crumble. Mm. It is sometimes savage, sometimes noble, and always fascinating. In any event, Celine should now be a steadfast ally. And Briala as well, thanks to your efforts on her behalf. Mm-hmm. I liked okay. it. The Inquisition gets a valuable ally, and perhaps your people will get better treatment in Orlais. How will mages be treated better? Oh, you mean elves? I'm sorry. I was confused. I do not consider myself to have much in common with the elves. Why not? Who do you have much in common with? Who are your people? A good question. I joined the Inquisition to save the world. Regardless of who my people are, this was the best way to help them. As for the Elves of Olay, I believe Briala is doing quite well on their behalf. She is an admirable woman. Right, okay. 
She's done good work. Hopefully, with our help, she can help them even more. Yes. However much I identify, or fail to identify, with her people, Riala's efforts have been remarkable. She organized resistance against a powerful enemy, using only her wits and the resources at hand. That demands respect, especially in a world where most would look at her and only see a pair of pointed ears. Okay, uh, so hold on a second. Uh, I've never really looked at uh, Solus's uh, like, paintings in here. Huh. It's uh, kind of weird, isn't it? What is he doing here? And he still has like almost like what a third of the wall or a quarter of the wall unfinished in here. Okay. This looks very close to like the 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 graphics. I mean, look exactly the same as the um, uh, Dragon Age Keep graphics. But I wonder what 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 is this? Interesting. Okay, cool. Um, right. What do I want to do? I actually want to go... Let's go to the war room. Uh, the war room is here, though. <coughs> Sorry. Let's go to the war room really quickly. See what um, operations we have. Apparently, we, we also have to judge some people as well. We'll talk to Josephine in a second. There should be some other quests opening up for us, right? So we now have the quests for Vivienne. It's time to plan our next attack. Mission. What's the state of the Inquisition? Oh shit! Our alliance with Orle holds, for the present. They'll send aid on request. And your actions at Adamant denied Corypheus his army of pet demons. With Orle's support, our numbers match his. Corypheus's followers must be panicking. My agents agree. Our victories have shaken his disciples. Okay. Perhaps they'll rethink following the Darkspawn Magister from the dawn of time. Where is Corypheus now? After you dealt with the Duchess, Corypheus uprooted his major strongholds. He's moving south to the Arbor Wilds. His army clearly wasn't prepared to flee. Our victories have them on the defensive. Mm-hmm. They've terrorized Thetis long enough. We end them now. If Corypheus is hiding in the Arbor Wilds, that's where we'll go. But what is Corypheus doing in such a remote area? His people have been ransacking Elven ruins since Haven. We believe he seeks more. Mm -hmm. What he hopes to find, however, continues to elude us. Which should surprise no one. Fortunately, I Oh, well, look at that. Morrigan, when her... Old clothes. Okay, please continue. You have my attention, Lady Morrigan. What Corypheus seeks in those forgotten woods is as ancient as it is dangerous. Which is? His best, if I show you. <laughs> what? This is an Illuvian. Oh, shit. An elven artifact from a time long before their empire was lost to human greed. I restored this one at great cost, but another lies within the Arbor Wilds. That is what Corypheus seeks. <laughs> you brought this here? <laughs> Corypheus wants this, and you brought it into my castle? If the Darkspawn could breach these walls, would he not have already come for you? I found legends of an elven temple within the Arbor Wilds. Untouched. Okay. It proved too dangerous to approach, and thus I turned elsewhere to find my prize. If Corypheus has turned southward, he could succeed where I failed. The Illuvian would be his. What does it do? 
A more appropriate question would be, where does it lead? Mm -hmm. It's a portal. I guess we're going in. Interesting. If you would have had a, uh, a son with her, the voice actor is her son in real life. What? Really? The actress's son in real life plays Morgan's son in the game? Nice. Okay, cool. If this place once had a name, it has long been lost. Those look like a lot of Illuvians. I call it the crossroads. A place where all Illuvians join. Uh, okay. Wherever they might be. Okay. Is this place dangerous? It feels... Unnatural, yes. We are, however, in no immediate peril. The ancient elves left no roads, only ruins hidden in far-flung corners. This is how they traveled between them. Mm -hmm. As you can see, most of the mirrors are dark, broken, corrupted, or unusable. As for the rest, a few can be opened from this side, but only... A few. Okay, okay, and how did you find this? How did you find out about this place? My travels have led me to many strange destinations, Inquisitor. Once, they led me here. It offered sanctuary. Sanctuary? Not all the mirrors lead back to our world. The ancients were nothing if not resourceful. What does that mean? If they don't lead back to our world, then... Places between, like this one. I can describe it no better. For a time, I was safe from those who hunted me. But only for a time. One cannot remain in between forever. What do you mean, a few can be opened from this side? Some of the Illuvians have been left unlocked, like doors accidentally left ajar. All others are closed. They can be opened only from beyond. Opened how? With a key. Oh my god, Morrigan, it's like pulling teeth. Just spill it out. I suppose you have such a key? The key can be many things. Each Illuvian is different. I have knowledge as well as power. Often that is enough. Okay, and Corypheus wants this. Corypheus wants to come here? This is not the Fade, but it is very close. Someone with enough power could tear down the ancient barriers. And enter the Fade in the flesh, like Corypheus wanted to do with the Anchor. He learned of the Illuvian in the Arbor Wilds as I did. He marshals the last of his forces to reach it. You have made Corypheus desperate, Inquisitor. We must work together to stop him, and soon. Mm -hmm. Okay. So our next destination is going to be the Arbor Wilds. Right? Okay, what the heck is this thing? Uh-huh. Alright. Hello, Morrigan, again. Tis a large fortress, Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. To think, until recently, this place stood decrepit. 
occupied only by the desperate and the lost. Now it is party to events that threaten to shake the world. I wonder if it is pleased. It sounds like you've heard of Skyhold before. This fortress was built upon the remains of a site holy to the ancient elves. They called it Tarar Salan, the place where the sky is kept. It is said that from here, they reached up to the heavens to bring them down to rest. They abandoned it, as did the humans who came after them. Bones laid upon bones, silent until your arrival. Mm-hmm. We weren't lucky to find it. Solus brought us to it, right? I like this place. I've made it mine. The magic in this place has seeped into the stones, protecting it from darkness. Those who let it fall to ruin did not know what they possessed. You, I think, shall do it justice. You were kind to welcome my aid, Inquisitor, even knowing as little of me as you do. I will do my best to aid your cause with all the knowledge at my disposal. This I swear to you. Okay, what's the catch here, Morgan? That's very serious of you. You swear it? That's rather serious. Some might think Corypheus a madman for seeking godhood. Yet one must ask, what were the old gods? What secrets of theirs did the ancient magisters know? What I fear, what all should fear, is not that Corypheus believes he can succeed. It is that he actually may. Okay. Okay, Morrigan. Um, right. Let's go here really quickly then. Go back to the war room. Whoops. Morgan is with us here as well. Oh my god. Hold on. What? That's a lot of quests in here. Okay. Aid those impacted by the civil war alliances. From the heart. What pride had wrought. This is the next. Uh, okay. Investigate the elven ruins. Okay. Annexing Kirkwall, delicate negotiations and find the spies in... Oh, this is... Oh, this report is available. Okay, Basalitana uh, coordinating with Liliana has allowed us to start tracing the Venatori information network. Liliana seems pleased that she can feed the Venatori misinformation to disguise the Inquisition's goals more effectively. I will be in contact when I have solid information on where the Venatori Information Network leads. I'm using Ben Hasarath contacts across Orlay and Ferelden to trace the information and I should have something soon. Okay. Track spies in Valroyo. Okay, that's... it's gonna open up that... this... Uh, uh, right. Hold on. Investigate Elven Ruins. Inquisitor, we have made progress at Dinanhan, the Tomb of the Emerald Knights. The structure appears more extensive than we had thought. As my keeper was not interested in this endeavor, perhaps the Inquisition might be willing to aid us. I will... I would hate to return home empty-handed. I trust the spirit of cooperation would benefit us both. Besides, it's rather exciting. I imagine the place must pique your curiosity as well. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Oh, and it's instant. Okay. A few of our soldiers met with the elves at Dinan Hain, uh, Hanin, uh, the elves' ruins in the Emerald Graves. Their leader, Tavern, wishes to work with us as a sign of cooperation between the Inquisition and his clan. However, some of his party are wary of our presence and the Inquisition's intentions. Our interest in strengthening our relationship with the Dalish would appear more genuine if we met with them in person. New area unlocked. 
Okay. Okay. Hold on. Alliance is from the heart. The conflict among the nobles of the Orlesian capital has come to a head. Lady Richelieu has been uh, busy promoting an arranged marriage to solidify the positions of the current players with considerable status reserved for her as matchmaker. The object is the pairing of Lord de Rosier, or de, de Rosier with Lady Thibault's daughter Celeste. All who uh, have status enough to speak seem to be in agreement, but we have received a number of letters regarding the matter. From Lady uh, Velisti Bold, uh, my daughter will doubt dutifully comply, but I know her feeling. She will speak to no one. I would have you remind her that we are servants of our chosen world, but it serves us well. It is her name that is stabilizing this alliance. Uh, it conveys power that should not be misdirected or, uh, sorry, misdirected to matchmakers. From Lord Pierre, Pierre de Rossier. Uh, frankly, I'll be glad when the matter is settled. I have no desire to inconvenience the young Celeste beyond what name sharing Lady Richelieu recommends. Uh, this has been a cock up from head to tail. From Jessin Landre. I pledge to the Inquisition, if my dearest Celeste is willing to sacrifice to ensure the alliance, uh, then I can only do as much. My name may not be enough for some, but she will have my protection indirectly through service to you. Okay, if you are set on the arranged pairing, Jacin Landre should be quietly escorted from the city. Hold on, mission present. Do we truly need this? I suggest discrete maneuvers in the free marches. Uh, a standard retinue plus two. Get the young couple out of range. Yeah, let's go with that. All right. Okay. Aid those impacted by the civil war. The Imperial Army will aid the Inquisition's forces against Corypheus, but the, they must also address lingering issues at home. Weakness in the Vale, no doubt heightened due to rifts, have resulted in demons on the road between Val Foré and Monsimar. Uh, this would demand a call to action at the best of times. Unfortunately, the increased number of travelers on the roads, merchants attempting to restore trade and displaced civilians returning home after the war, has made this situation worse. The head of the Imperial Army has requested assistance from the Inquisition in subduing this threat. threat. Okay, let's go with let's Liliana then. Have. Truth or dare, the end game. No. Negotiate a deal for weapons plans. Yeah, let's go with that. I recently became aware of a talented and uh, inventive young blacksmith from the Anderfels. Once we were introduced through my extensive connections, I negotiated a deal to obtain his weapon plans for the Inquisition. Unfortunately, I have just now been outbid by a nobleman from Va Vol Dorma who maintains a private army. I would hate to lose those designs. Is there anything we can do? Uh, well, we'll find out. If uh, Josephine can surface. help. Six hours, Jesus Christ. That's a long time. Okay. Well, I guess that's it for now. I I'm not going to read the others because I don't want to lose them on the map. On the, yeah, on the map. So, okay. How bracing to be in the thick of the game again. The last time I was at Alam Shiral was Countess Letienne's wedding. There were a dozen affairs, five secret alliances, and a duel between two chevaliers over the vintage of an Antivan port. But until the Duchess was unmasked, I've never seen the Winter Palace in shock. <laughs> you don't see the Empress of Orléans almost killed in cold blood every day. <laughs> Not so brazenly. The game's become increasingly insular in the past few years. Corypheus skillfully took advantage. It's disturbing. So few people in the Orlesian court were aware of the Duchess's machinations. Mm-hmm. The Empress realized she was in danger. She's always in danger. Those loyal to her should have practiced more vigilance. But let's not lose sight of victory. Your actions at the ball have secured us allies and favors alike.
I kept dreading I'd drop the wrong spoon or step on a general's foot. Well done. Feuds that spanned ages have sparked over less. Really? Cool. Inquisitor never underestimates the enmity of those for whom outrage is a sport. Right. Okay. <laughs> Inquisitor. 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 Okay. Dorian, maybe? Maybe Dorian wants to talk to us a bit? We haven't spoken to him at all. And then we will... Uh, I'll have to see where uh, Vivienne's quest is. Hey, Dorian. Marvelous business, the Winter Palace. Saving the day, reconciling lovers, mediating a civil war. So sugary, it's nauseating. <laughs> all this dancing, politics and murder. Ah, makes me a bit homesick. You missed that? That's something you actually miss? Who wouldn't? All the trauma, the scandal, the petty maneuverings. <laughs> Back home, we engage in social affairs with the grim intensity of war. When blood is spilled, the battle is won. Less fun when you're the target, but to watch. My. Yes. I hope you tried the ham they were serving, by the way. It tasted of despair. It's fascinating. <laughs> Of this I should go. Try not to kill anyone without me. <laughs> okay, Dorian. Right. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Okay. As you were. Maybe you want to check on Blackwall? I will. I will go to uh, Mornay's execution. Uh, but I wanted to... Hold on a second. So... Obtain the heart of a snowy, snowy weaver from the Exalted Plains. I think I'm going to go with this one first. I kind of want to go with this one first. Um, okay. Let me... <laughs> Just sell some stuff, and then we're we're gonna go and hunt down this uh, snowy weavern, and then we're gonna check on Blackwall as well. There we go. Okay, so. Acquired schematics. Right. Exalted planes. Where exactly is this thing? Oh, it's there. Okay. Cool. Let's go here then. Travel. Let's take... Okay. Vivienne. Cassandra. And Cole. Let's go and do that. Because that should be quite fast. So Blackwall is no longer available to us. It's interesting. Interesting. Mm, what the heck was the exit here? I go through the thing? Hold on a second. We also have a bunch of dragons to kill before we uh, before we continue with the with the main mission. Hold on a second. Can I get out of this place through here? I, I don't really remember. I can't, can't I? Can I? Is there a thing in here? 
don't even remember. Nope. Go through the place you opened with operations. You mean through here? Hold on a second. It's a little bit confusing at times. Is the Weaver uh, in the same place as the dragon was in this area? Is that where I'm going? In the same like location as the where the dragon was? Ish, technically, like around that place. Because it feels like it. Yeah, it is? Yeah, okay, cool. Snowy Weavern. Let's go, let's get the Snowy Weavern. For this weird potion that Vivienne wants us to... I mean, what she wants to make, probably. Take care of it. <laughs> Let me guess. The snowy weavern is somewhere in front of us. <clears throat> in this, like, cloud of sorts. Maybe not. Um, oh, I can give Vivienne the heart of a common weaver. Okay. Hold on a second. What? I shall attempt not to breathe for the next five minutes. Excuse me. Excuse me, Vivian. There it is. I think that's it, right? Snowy Weaver. Oh no, did I miss the wicked eyes and wicked hearts? Yes, you did, Marvel. Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I started the stream uh, like two hours earlier today, so. Because I didn't stream yesterday. And, uh. Yeah. So yeah, I did that. And now we are hunting for this heart. Okay, give Vivienne the heart. I will give Vivienne the I will actually give Vivi I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I really hope she's not playing me here sleep has robbed me of that <laughs> well yeah okay so let's go back home to skyhold <laughs> 